Hey y'all, welcome back. Spring break, day number two. Let's get some good light. Is that good light? No, that's not good light. There's no good light. Okay, that's better. Oh, better. Okay, spring break day number two. I'm in my bedroom. I'm always in my bedroom, y'all. Okay, this is where my office is. So I spend a lot of time in here. Um, Half of my bedroom is now my office. That bothers me because this was supposed to be my sacred space for me and, yeah. Me and um, the husband I'm praying for that ain't got here yet. But he on the way in Jesus' name. Okay. So for right now, it is my office. It's my workspace. And so um, the majority of it is office. That's okay. Uh, we keep it clean. It works out perfect. Um, I actually think I'm going to try to move the bed today um, and see if. I can turn it this way. I've had it this way before. Um, should I be trying to do that right now? Or should I wait till the kids come home? Oh, okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. I got to decide if I have more room between the bed and the desk the way it is. Or if I'll have more room between the bed and the desk if I turn it. So I'm going to get Jackson in here to measure. That is not what this video is about. Anywho. Um, so my bed is naked at the moment because I only have two pillows here. I have a ton of pill. I uh, used to have a ton of pillows on my bed. But um, they go flat after a certain amount of time. So over here, there, I have a zillion pillows that are flat and need to be in the trash. And that's what I'm going to do right now is get those in the trash. I'm going to clean up and do a few things in here. But I had a company reach out to me, uh, Viewstar, one that we have worked with before. Baba, will you mute that for a sec, please? One that we have worked with before. And let's actually, what did you do with the potatoes, babe? Put them in. Oh, yes. Can you put the instant pot up, though? Um, a company that I've worked with before, Viewstar, the one that did the um, bed topper, Y'all, can I tell you, I told somebody the other day, I said, I feel like I'm sleeping on clouds when I sleep on that thing. If you did not jump in on that and get you one, um, I'm going to recommend. I, I'm going to recommend it. I mean, y'all know I only recommend stuff that I would buy myself. Um, they did send that one to me. Are we out of water in this, Mr. Bud? No, I think it just went off. Okay, never mind. There's water in there. Oh, that was a birthday gift from a friend of mine, Christine. So, anywho, they sent me 12 pairs of pillows to try. So, I usually have, let me see. I usually have four pair of pillows on my bed, at least. The kids have two pair apiece. Um, so, we're going to deep unbox these. And I'm going to put pillows on my bed. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to do I'm, these up testers, right? So we're just testing to see which ones work and which ones don't. This right here, bud, we're going to take this out of the box. This is not pillows. This is dog food. And put the bag behind the dog bin so we can get rid of this box. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to get Jackson to help me bring in some of these um boxes into mom's room so that we can debox these. Now, the pillows that are in here have to be um, fluffed for 24 hours before you can sleep on them. So I'm back to sleeping on just the two pillows that I have left tonight. And then by tomorrow night, we'll be ready to um, test these pillows out. So we are going to unbox these and show you what we have. Um, I've got kings, queens, and standards in here. So we're going to show you what we have. Okay, so this is called a better pillow. Um, th these are queens, so this comes in a two pack, and these are queens hotel quality pillow pair. You start now. That I'm not lying when I tell y'all that um, topper that I have. I mean, I literally feel like I'm sleeping in in heaven. I mean, it's just like clouds. So we're gonna give these a try. These are queens, so I'll take those to my bed. My bed is just a full. But I enjoy a full-size pillow. So th that's a pair. I'm going to open two more boxes to get six pillows out. Because I've got two on there already. So that'll be eight. And then we'll open up some for the kids. 
Okay, so this is a standard set of pillows. These are going on the kids' beds. So they do come rolled, right? They come rolled in this plastic, so they do have to be floofed. You do get an instruction. These are down alter alternative pillows. They um, are hypoallergenic, which the kids need. Dust mite resistance, which Jackson needs. Breathable, um, comfortable to your skin contact. This is polyester, the fabric and the filling. So I have some that are polyester and some that are cotton, but they're um, both, uh, most of them are down alternative. And um, it does show you how to floof in 24 to 48 hours. And then it tells you washing or care. They can be washed. Um, so it gives you those care instructions. Now, Jackson is having some major issues with his allergies right now. And so maybe changing out his pillows will help. So I'm going to fluff out these or open up these pillows for him. And then um, they're going to both get two, two new sets. Jackson has um, hypoallergenic or uh, dust, dust mite resistant pillow cases. So those are, uh, we'll just switch all of that out and wash everything. He actually sneezed on his pillow, so we have to wash it anyway. So we'll just go ahead and get everything washed. And then they come rolled up. So, I mean, the packaging is awesome. They ship from Amazon. So this is just the first, right? And then we'll just smack it around, fluff it smack it around when we put it on the bed I might just hit it on the couch and try to flip it that way but this is what is going on Jackson's bed and then I'm gonna put some on mom's bed as well and sisters I do go sisters working so I'll get hers out again they come all nice packaged Now, if you notice, Mr. Sir has not jumped. Normally, he is um, very skittish around sounds and um, quick, sudden movements. And as I'm fluffing the pillows, he's not even moving. So one of the things that we know, even though he's not staying with us, is that just being in a stable, calm home environment is helpful for him. Because Shamika is, with her school schedule, she just has been all over the place. And she's actually been in school undergrad grad and then she took him to post-grad and so she was always gone always out of the house and he just you know was in his crate for hours and hours and hours and we just did not think I didn't think that was humane to keep and he was fine he's crate trained he don't mind it but I don't like it for him so I'm very glad that he's able to be here with us and now some of those skittish type movements like even if I come over and approach him that would usually make him nervous but now I can you know I can scratch his ears and he's like yeah mom that's the best I ever seen you know he doesn't get skittish he used to get real skittish and he doesn't do that anymore so hey listen we're thankful that this house is so even calm enough that the dogs get delivered from their anxiety so I just pray over them in Jesus name that they don't experience any anxiety or stress or pressure. Now, if somebody come by here in just 0 0.3 seconds, he going to be up and letting them know, don't roll up in this piece, y'all. And and then, ma'am, bark a lot will be right behind him. But I'm, I'm excited for him that that is something that he has obtained just being here with us a small amount of time. It's just a calmness. He does need to be brushed, though, yes, because he has a lot of loose floof. Okay. Hello. I'm very well. How are you? I do. Okay.
I love you. Thank you for that. At the right time. The exact thing I needed at the right time. And I know we don't need to get emotional, so I'm going to let you go, but thank you. Well, I appreciate, I was sitting here just questioning some things and still pressing through, right? Pressing through. And I'm like, okay, God, I just don't know. And at the right time, the right thing. So I appreciate your obedience. And I pray that the Lord continues to bless you in so many ways, more than you could ever ask, hope, dream, dare to imagine. All the things you prayed for, all the things that God promised you are still yes, they're still amen, and they are on the way. Every dream, every prayer has been answered and it is waiting to get to your doorstep. Stand firm, be obedient, don't move out of position because God is answering. And I just believe that. But thank you. I love you. Yes, ma'am. I love you. Okay. Bye-bye. So here I am, you guys. Oh, just got to get a little dance on in the bedroom. Yes, just get your dance on, girl. So I'm just trying to make up my bed. Um, because the bed is on, you know, only I can get to one side of it, right? It's a little harder to try to make it up. But I, I do try to make the bed. I don't do it every day, but I do try. It does make me feel better to, to make sure that the bed is made. And then, of course, I have to get on the bed to try to make the bed. And that doesn't help out. However, um, it does make me feel better good to have the bed made so that is what I'm doing here and of course just a little jam session while I am making the bed always makes life go better at least for me I'm a music person uh, my personality is is very musically inclined I love music it makes me happy um I'm actually getting ready to start a, a just a small exercise regimen that's going to be just dance uh, because I love music and um, I go to the gym, I lift weights, I do all the things, but I'm going to try, you know, something a little different as far as exercising that includes a little bit of dancing. So, of course, here, you know, just jamming, cleaning and doing all of the things. I'm taking a few things to the Goodwill because, you know, it just needs to be done. I have lots of clothes and um, some things are just too big at the at this point and I don't, you know, feel like having them altered I only paid a couple dollars for them from the goodwill so just donate them back it works out perfectly fine no problem um and here i am now just opening up all of the pillow boxes and pulling out all of the pillows uh jackson did come in and take my trash when, when i got done there were a lot of boxes to open there was a ton of pillows we had standard pillows and queen pillows and king pillows we just had a ton of stuff and so very very thankful uh, we were we happened to be in walmart a little earlier and saw a gentleman walking out with serta pillows and i can't even imagine the, the amount of money that he paid for those they are not cheap and so for the Lord to bless us in this way was amazing. So here I am just floofing the pillows. Of course, they had to floof for 24 to 48 hours. And of course, my way of floofing is to just bang them on the bed um, and, you know, do my best to get the floof on. Um, I appreciated so very much being able to have this, you know, like I said, when I think about the cost and how much it would have cost for us to just buy these outright and they are hotel quality they are very amazing like i said i love to melt into my pillows and these uh, absolutely make you feel like you're melting jackson just came in and took some pillows into alana's room because sister was working on this day so here i am again just opening a ton 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 of pillows we did a review you know what was the firmness how did it feel as far as support and then it was on all the queens, all the kings, and all the standards that we had. So I had several pairs in my room. The kids had several pairs in their room. And we were just extremely happy to be able to preview these. And, uh, you know, pillows are really expensive. And I did not have the funds to, you know, totally restock everybody with pillows. So this did come in handy. It was a true blessing for us. And uh, here's Jackson taking my trash. My kids always help me. I don't care what it is I'm doing. They are always involved. And so again, if you need a little therapy, a little anger management, just take it out on your pillows in the fluffing process. Just beat them until they cannot be beat any further. 
and then these did have to sit for about 24 hours I let mine for about 24 hours I actually sat them on the chair and they fluffed for about 24 hours uh, here I am now just sitting at my desk trying to get caught up on some desk work some one mom stuff checking all my social medias um, of course we're doing the reels on Facebook and Instagram and so I'm always trying to check you know I like to respond to comments whenever I'm able I always heart things but if I'm able to sit down and actually do a comment I try to do that as well I want people to know that I value their time and their effort to to you know communicate with us I'm not a social media person that you cannot get in touch with I do try my very best to be avail so here I am using my cell phone to respond I have the computer to respond and I'm actually getting ready to um, do a desk project that'll be coming in a future video alrighty you guys so I'm gonna finish up this vlog uh, we have turned in all of our paperwork for the pillows this is the mountain of pillows that are on my bed um, we had to do like firmness um, how does it feel what kind of support does it give and uh, that was what they wanted to know. Uh, second note is I got most of these pillow sheets from Goodwill in the bins, right? I went to the bins, got them from Goodwill, washed them up really good, used them on my pillow on the bed. They were $1.69 each. A pillow sheet right now at Walmart, just a Walmart brand, is like 8 or $9 a piece. And I have queens, I have standards, and I have kings. And I was able to find what I needed in the bins. They're all Mitch Match, but nobody will be in here but me. And if you look at the bedspread, everything except the yellow, all the colors except the yellow, um, is one of these that I picked, right? Except the shell on right here. But that's okay. And then the other, I need to just change these to the flower ones that I have that go with those pillows. But those pillows feel, the majority of them feel just like that topper that I have on the bed. Like you just melt into them and your life is better just immediately. So um, it was a good experience for us. The kids, I know Alana said hers was a little too soft. She kind of likes more of a firm one. So I do have some firm ones up there. I'm going to switch with her and see if she want, likes those better. Um, I don't mind the softer because I like to melt into my pillows and live my best life. I do have a couple pillow sheets here that I can switch out if I need to. This is the last of what I have to do is put up these few little clothes and then I will be done around the house. We've, um, we have um, watered the garden. We watered the trees. I went, of course, went to Goodwill and did some stuff. I filmed a video for that so you guys will see a Goodwill haul down the line. Um, cleaned, showered. Jackson's getting a shower right now. Alana's just had a shower because we have to go to Taekwondo. And she needs to go to um, Walmart. And I'm going to go back to the thrift store because I saw something in there that I thought I might want to get. I, I got to investigate it a little more, more closely. Um, but the next video you're going to see from us is going to be the side yard where we did a little side yard project. And I'm still looking for some pieces for the side yard. So... You know, be looking for that. Um, yeah, so that's what that's going to be. But anywho, I was very excited when Viewstar reached out and asked us if we would do the pillow review because I needed new pillows and the kids need new pillows. And it's just like the Lord, you know, whatever. I tell people all the time, whatever you have need of, God already knows that. And whatever concerns you, concerns him, that's in the word. And so I'm just very thankful that... um you know, he's always mindful of me and my family. And he's also mindful of you and your family. He doesn't do anything greater for us than he will for, for anybody else. But he does bless us immensely. And it's a beautiful situation. I've been sitting here contemplating over the last couple of weeks. Just, you know, where is my relationship with the Lord? And, and to, to stay focused on God. And, you know, I've noticed my mind has got, gotten a little sidetracked with other things. Just some other stuff that's been going on. And. It's like, it doesn't matter. I was telling them in Tuesday, Tuesday night prayer, no matter what I want in my life, no matter what I desire, the word says, to, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added. And that's always my fallback. That's all, that's not my fallback. That's always my go-to. That's always how it is. I might get side, temporarily sidetracked, but God always brings me back. My heart is always to serve the Lord. 
And so, you know, that's just where I am. It's where I live. It's where I, you know, plan to park and, and, and stay for a while. Um, stay forever. <laughs> um, couple things we got in the fire going on over here. And, um, you know, it is, it is, you know, what it is. And um, I'm thankful. I guess that's all I can say. You can't be anything else but thankful when God truly blesses you. And like I said, if he never does nothing for me, he's done so very much. Um, but in his goodness, I have another project coming up. And um, just talked to a person last night about it. And they are going to definitely bless us and help us with um, some labor costs. They're going to um, remember us in the pricing um, just as a blessing to us. Um, some people I know, pers personal, personal members of people that I know. And it's just going to be a real blessing. So that's going to be coming down the line. A couple weeks, you'll you'll get to see that project that's happening. So anywho, just wanted to share that those pillows with you guys. The kids enjoyed theirs. I enjoyed mine. We were able to bless a couple people with a couple pair. And um, that's just, it's been great. So anywho, after we did all the things, um, we are going to call it a vlog here. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you guys next time. Bye now.